Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for watching. If you could give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you have any questions throughout this video, do leave comments in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them pretty quickly. And I hope that you'll check the description box for links to any of the products I use or my social media connectors. I hope that you watched the Fleur de Lis scrappy book journal card. I, I'm, I'm actually not naming it in this video, but just look up Fleur de Lis. I also have it as an I, so you can watch it. I made some papers by making this card, and so I had some left over. And I sat here and thought, what could I do? What would be fun? And I thought, well, why not take a couple of the scraps that I have laying here on my desk, and let's make an altered paper clip. So, we're going to get started by number one. I have a book page that I've overstamped on, and I think what I want to do is I want to trim it down to be a little bit smaller than this artist trading card. An artist trading card is three and a half by two and a half inches. So, with that in mind, I'm trying to just move the things over so I can put my paper cutter down. I think what I want to do is cut this at, I'm going to flip it over just for the idea here. Okay, if I want it going that way. All right, so I want to make this three and three fourths of an inch wide. So I'm just kind of looking at this and I want to trim off just a little bit just so that I don't have any of the white space here and we're going to cut this at two and a quarter so that will fit on my artist trading card so that'll be a good mat. I have the crown collage stamp by Beeline Designs and what I want to do is use Versamark ink it's a pigment ink designed for embossing it also makes a watermark when you use this particular one and i'm just going to stamp right in the middle and then i'm going to put it in my gold embossing powder and i know i want to emboss it so i'm just going to let that set for just a moment move my stamp out of the way i have a piece of ivory paper that was left over from a project and i have from the I'm gonna make sure I got the right one. It's from the Time Spent Cube Queen for a Day. Got a little shine there. So I've got the word Queen for a Day, and we're gonna emboss this. So I'm looking here. I will just do it right here in this corner, and I want to emboss that. And if I get a little, I just kind of smush the edge of the stamp so I'm just rubbing that off all right so I've got these two pieces that I need to heat and boss oh wait I have one more I want to make this is another book page and I've got the Queen's post so we got the Queen for a day we have a crown and now I have the Queen's post stamp that and do in gold embossing all right so I've got those three pieces that I need to heat and boss so let me put the stamps away and close the glitter and let's heat those up. So I'm just putting it on a metal pan so that I don't scorch my plastic mat underneath. And I've got a heat tool. When I'm doing embossing, I kind of prefer to do assembly line so I don't have to keep getting things back out. It just makes it go a little bit faster. Okay, so all my pieces have been heat and bosh. You don't want to touch them right away because they'll be hot and you'll burn your fingers. All right, so I think what I want to do is I want to layer these together. So I've got my Distress Ink Walnut Stain and we're just going to go right around the edges. I did just recently re-ink my pad so it's nice and dark. All right, so I want to put this in the middle. So I'll glue that down with some Aline's tacky glue because I like that. And I think for the little queen's post, I'll just use my scissors and I'm trimming it out just a little bit. I've got a couple of scraps here. I'm just looking to see which is the best one. 
I think I want this one because I'm going to use some scissors to trim this out. Let me get my scissors. I've misplaced the ones I really want, but this is a pair of kind of a zigzag stitch or zig like pinking shears. Don't use pinking shears on your paper projects unless you never want to cut fabric again. I'm going to glue these together and then I'll use this little decorative edge scissors to cut out the little postage stamp. I'll just kind of come in here and trim them out. And let's put some distress inks on that edge. All right, so I've got those two pieces. So now what I need to do is take this piece and tear it out. So tear it out. And I'll go ahead and just kind of trim it up a little bit. And I've got this piece. And I think I don't need it quite as big. So I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. Maybe a little crooked. I don't know. I think I think it needs something in the background. So let's put the distress inks on it. See how that looks. I think I've decided that I want to stamp on top of this craft piece. So I'm getting out. This is uh, Paris Correspondence. And I've got some black archival ink. And we're going to do it crosswise. I think that's what it needed. Yeah, I like that. You like it? It's a nice little pattern there. All right, so let's layer these up. I may want to do one more thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. If I, I'm looking at this, I remember this is crown over here. So if I put, I hope I have a right side up. I think it goes that way. Right about there, and maybe right about there. Just kind of a little collage. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue these together. Okay, I like that. And then I'm just going to grab another artist trading card. I'll go ahead and put some distress things on it. This one feels a little bit thicker. All right, and that's going to be the outside. So I can choose, do I want the bigger part of the paper clip on the outside, or do I want the smaller part? And I think I'll do the smaller part, and the bigger part will be inside, which will help give our altered paper clip some stability. So I'm just going to come in here and put some glue right around my paper clip, and then around the perimeter, and then just kind of fill it in. And then I'll put these together. And what I like to do is just press it down onto my work surface and then I'll just really rub. I can get my foam folder and rub on it, kind of go down in between the paper clip. And there is my altered paper clip. So I can just get a page. Let's just pretend this is I fold it in half and this is my page and I can just put it across. I can use my little journal card that I made underneath. Oops, I guess I didn't get enough glue on that. What do you think? Is that kind of neat? I hope you like this little idea, just using those scraps and stamping on top of them to make a beautiful little altered paper clip. Well, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again, I have a live premiere videos or recorded videos on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you'll check those out. And then, of course, make sure you know you. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you know the next time i upload a new video and if there's something you want to see you have a technique that you'd like to see in stamping or stenciling mixed media doing gel printing let me know and i'll see if i can do it for you all right everybody have a fabulous day bye